guess this video is just going to be you learning as I learn as I try to do this video. Completely a Maddie and Peter thing. Not for me. <laughs> but the studio is big enough for you to skateboard in and rollerblade and scoot or whatever. And I just wanted to give you a sneak peek about a future video because some people were saying, hey, can we have a studio tour? Ooh, did I forget to introduce myself? What is up, everybody? It's Timothy here. And today I decided to do a little bit of a vlog because there are a couple of things that I have been wanting to do with the studio. And we moved into this space in December, the, the first of December, so it's been six months, and there are a lot of things that I had intended for that I just never got done, mostly because of funds and just no, not having the funds <laughs> to do it, but uh, today is the day that we switched things around and built myself a product and portrait studio. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a couple of people on my Instagram have been asking to see a studio tour because you catch it in the background of my Instagram stories. You see me dancing in it, you see me skating in it. There's a ton, a ton of Instagram stories of me showing you the desk setup of when I edit, the backdrop obviously, and the space is quite large. And before I do a studio tour video, I want it to be perfect and I think I can make it perfect now. This is going to be the streaming area, but some of us also use it for like Pilates and yoga and rolling out. Behind me is the entrance and a workstation right there. And uh, there's another editing station right here. Getting to the point of why I want to set up a product studio is because as you can tell, we have a ton a ton of natural light. We have so many skylights in here. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven skylights up here. So when I try to control light, when I'm doing portraits, when I'm doing product photography, which is mostly what I do uh, currently, it is extremely difficult. I always have to resort to working out at night. And so we have, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, we have, this door, this medieval looking door, this hard, heavy door, and behind it is an entire extra room that no one has stepped foot in since we moved in. We have not looked at the space as you can, we haven't touched it. Like, so the plan for today is to clean this room, set it up. I've got sound panels that I'm gonna move in here just to cut this echo um, and move a desk in here. So one of the editing stations that you just saw, that table is moving in here because this room is not only going to be for product photography, it's gonna be so I can do product reviews just so I can show you guys the products. I personally use the products that I wanna use and hopefully the dream is to work with other gear and product companies so that I can review them and show them to you. So this room, at least for the next six to six to eight months, it should be banging. The only problem is I have no idea what to do with this. What do I do with you? I don't know, I'll figure that out, but let's, let's get to cleaning. Okay, so now that the room is clean, I'm gonna have to move in the sound panels, I'm gonna have to move in the desks for the, it's gonna be the product desk, like, product review desk, you know, mm -mm -mm. Uh, I'm gonna have to move in some lights, um, and I don't know, let's see where I take this. I 
just realized that even though I have all the sound panels in here, I have seven sound panels in here, but because the ceiling's so high, there is still going to be an echo. Freaking struggles. But you know what? I might be panicking for absolutely no reason because the room is still empty, so of course it's gonna have an echo. So let me move everything in here and then we'll talk. I try to, I try to DIY a black wood desk and it worked, but man, it is so hard to take this stuff off. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm just gonna make this a two part series. Right now, I'm happy with it. Once the curtain's drawn, it's it's a product photography studio, uh, but since I do want it for video, that's gonna be a part two. Actually, I forgot to tell you to hit the subscribe button, like this, and turn on your post notifications uh, for part two of this of my shenanigans. Also, look forward to Friday's video because it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. Peace, peace.